with Luna Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in for another soap making adventure. I've got one more bakery themed soap for you this month before the extra special. I'm so excited. Can't wait to reveal the soap coming out on the shop um, update day. That one's like the best soap I think I've ever made. I know I've said it before. All right, we are doing some little donut soaps, which means I'm going to make a batch of them today to unmold and then come back in 24 hours once they are unmolded to make a second batch and to take the already made ones and place them on top of the bases. If that makes any sense, I've done this before, but instead of having just like half a donut, I don't have one to show you. Um, instead of having half a donut, it's like two halves put together to make like a whole donut, and that's the point of today. So, adding my lye solution, I've got my Tussa Silk in here. I also added some coconut milk. Um, there is my kaolin clay and a little bit of titanium dioxide, and I'm going to add that to my oils, which are at room temperature. I really feel like I'm gonna to have to get a new stick blender just because I can't stand how powerful that one is. It just pulls everything. All right, color. I'm going to do the base one color, the top another color, and then we're gonna ice it with two different colors. The theme for this is going to be mermaid donut. I got this inspiration from Pinterest because I really wanted to do a donut soap to include in my bakery display at the Newberry Bakery where I have some of my soaps for sale. And I realized I don't have any more donut soaps. So that is why I chose this. And I went on Pinterest to look up some ideas of soaps, like not soaps, donuts, like decorated donut ideas. And this little mermaid donut came up. And if I remember, I'm gonna to try to put a picture of it up for you to see. So the color I just added is called Synergy and is by Nurture Soap. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that in and then add the fragrance. As I was mixing that up, I'm like, did I say cupcakes at all? Because I, I kind of feel like I said cupcakes and not donuts at some point, but it's it's donuts. I don't know why. I, I'm a mess <laughs> right now. The kid's taking a nap, and I'm trying to squeeze everything into this nap real quick. Um, the fragrance I just added is a little blend that I just mixed up. It is banana, sweet star anise, coconut milk, pineapple, juicy orange, and lime and it smells really tropical and really fruity and I was kind of going for like beachy and mermaid and donut sweets at the time to just find something that worked there and that's, that's what I came up with. All right, let's pour it into these silicone donut holes. All right, we're gonna fill these up. I love this color. It's like a beautiful sea foam green. I wish I had more soaps that I felt inspired to use it for. Um, I'm going to pour these up. I'm going to let these sit for 24 hours. When I come back, I'll unmold them. I'll pour up another batch in a different color, and then I will attach uh, these to the top of the next batch. Then we'll let them sit, and then I'll come back and I'll decorate them. Back the next day for part two of the donut soap, we are going to make the other half. I'm gonna go ahead and color the oils already with some of this Rapture. It's very pretty. I don't use pinks enough either. Um, Rapture Mica by Nurture Soap. I also have my lye solution with some goat milk powder in there, kaolin clay, Tessa Silk, and sodium lactate. And that is all going into this bowl. We're gonna mix it together pour it into the silicone donut molds, and then once it's set up enough, I'm going to put the other half on top. So that's the plan.
So now that they're unmolded and ready to be frosted, I am going to whip up that icing. I just have a little bit of my batter here that I've, I'm trying to do something I've never done before, which is dip donuts in two different colors. So the icing I want to be two-toned. This is iris purple, and this is a baby blue, and these are both by Nurture Soap. I'm gonna give them um, a mix. And then I'm going to try pouring them into one bowl so it's like half blue and half purple and then dip the donut in it. That is the plan. Alright, let's see if I can just get them to go down the sides perhaps and meet in the middle like that. That's what I wanted, and I'm going to scrape these out because I don't want them to mix up too much, so I'm going to try to keep them on, on their own sides here, let's see. Um, to decorate the top of these, if this works, <laughs> I have, oh look at that, I'm mix, mixing spatulas here anyway. It's alright, it'll, it'll be pretty. Um, Kind of a marbling technique, I suppose. But I have some gold bursting beads from Brambleberry to sprinkle on there. I've got these sugar sprinkles. They look like, I guess, pearls, and they're in a light blue. I've got some glitter, and I think that's all I want to go on top of this. So let's give this a try. I'm going to dip the pink side in here, kind of like this is a mermaid's tail, and then the top of the mermaid goes up here, I'm so nervous about this. <laughs> Let's see. All right, all right, not bad. I think I'm gonna let it sit, and then I'll like double dip it, and see what that looks like. Yeah, that's pretty. I like it. It's still a little bit too runny to be dipping, so I'm probably going to take a break. But this is really pretty. I like this technique. All right, let's decorate these. Um, I put this on a piece of parchment paper because I have a feeling this is going to make a mess. So let me get everything open and we'll see how this goes. Let's start with the bursting beads. Oh, I also have these mountain pour, I'm glad I didn't forget, mountain pour seashells that I've made um, like a seashell -y color, <laughs> seashell -y color, and put a little bit of gold sparkle on it. Let's see if we can stick a few of these on here. These are so pretty. I'm gonna do the glitter last because I wanna get all of these toppings on here before it sets up. Really want everything to stick. <gasps> That's so pretty, you guys. It's a darling. I love it so much. I'm gonna have to make more of these. I think these would be perfect for like a little girl's birthday party. Like if we did like mermaids. Adorable. All right, let me go ahead and continue decorating these and give you a close-up look when I'm done with all the glitter on top. I love them. These are so cute. I don't even know what the I don't even know what to name them. I had to think of what's name them.
So for the glitter, I've got this blend. It's called Summer Dreams. It is by Eco Glimmer. It is an eco glitter. And I'm just gonna dust this on top of here. And that is that. These were so worth the three-day process. I definitely want to make these again. If you are interested in purchasing one, they will be available on the May 27th shop update. Thank you guys so much for joining me for the soap making adventure. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you are new and haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and join me for more fun soap making adventures. And any questions or comments, you know what to do. Leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, <laughs> I hope you guys have a very nice day and focus. <laughs> there we go. I hope you guys have a very nice day and I'll smell you later.